Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godot Community Spotlight video. If you're new here, I hope you feel right at home. As each week I try to shine a light on what people are doing with the Godot engine. Godot has made a good showing at GDC in San Francisco and the videos from the event are on the official Godot channel so please go and check those out. Right now, let's take a look at who's doing what with Godot this week. Game Dev Journey Godot 4 has a new file access class which can be used to save and load data for a game. Star Serial learned how to use it for his Vampire Survivors clone, which you can play over on his itch page. This is a nicely paced no-nonsense tutorial for how to implement the save and load system, which Star Serial worked hard to learn himself and is now sharing to benefit all of us. Make sure that you show your appreciation by subscribing to Star's channel. I'm always interested to see how different game engines work and how their features and workflow compare to Godot. So I was excited to find Single Minded Ryan's video demonstrating how he recreated his Unity game in Godot 4 step by step. It really highlights just how far Godot has come and helps you to realize that a game engine is just a tool. It's the game that you should focus on. Signals have been a long-standing and much-loved feature of Godot for a long time now, and they are still there in Godot 4. If you are coming to Godot for the first time because of the release of the new version, you'll want to know all about signals and how they work, and for that you can turn to Jumbo Game Dev's latest video. He explains it all in some detail, and the information is all beautifully presented. I'm looking forward to more from Jumbo, so be sure to subscribe if you are too. I don't think that any of my subscribers need convincing that Godot is the perfect engine for beginners to game dev because of its ease of use and access. But in case you want an argument to persuade someone, then Diragu Games has a video for 5 reasons why Godot is the perfect engine for beginners. The creator is originally a Unity developer who has made the switch, so I feel like you can trust the information he's sharing. Watch the full video on D's channel. Tips and tricks videos are handy and quick when you need to get something done. They are like recipes you can look up and GWiz has a few for you on improving your 2D camera in your new Godot 4 project. You can easily fix things like camera jitter or find out exactly what camera smoothing is and so on and so forth. GWiz has a bunch of other tutorials on his channel for Godot 4 so he's definitely a channel which you need on your list. Make sure to subscribe. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining me. And I do hope to see you all again next time.